Hello there fellow summoners, Mad Dog HT here and we're going back in for um, another Overseer takedown for um, Eternity of Pain, Anger Week 2. I tried a couple Mystics out, it wasn't really going well. I tried Dormammu and that was that was a big fail. I'm like, yeah, that's, yeah this dude's too weak and it's just not going to work out too well. So I have a rank 2 Undupe Tigra. I haven't used her a lot. I really don't know how to play her very well um she's unawakened which doesn't help with like the senses um but we're gonna give her a go i took a bunch of tries maybe about a dozen or so and then i had this run um and felt like it was good enough for me and we were, we're gonna finish it off with a couple revives so um this has heal block passive so you can't heal there's no willpower healing um, it's got even punishment, so if you parry, you will nullify a buff on yourself and um, Overseer. And if you try to nullify a buff on Overseer, he will do retaliation damage to you. Um, that's one of his abilities, awakened abilities. Um, it's got parry, which basically if, he, if you hit twice into his uh, green auto block shields, you'll get parried and stunned instead of just normally just parried and auto blocked it's got um encroaching stun which is super annoying with this fight paired with power alternator so that timer on the right far right on overseer when that expires if he has more power he just keeps his power but if you have more power he's you basically flip flop so you have to really keep that in um, check when you are dealing with the encroaching stun feats of power he gains one bar, he gets a Fury, he gains two bars, he gets the Precision. Now, Tiger can activate the Neutralize to prevent those, which are nice because it's not going to um, count as a Nullify. Neutralize is, is unique. And then Rich Get Richer, whoever has more buffs, um, gains a constant trickle of power. And so I'm just trying to heavy retaliate his specials, you know, Hopefully he'll throw some special ones. I got a little bit lucky there that I didn't get the crap beat out of me on, on that uh, stun. And I felt like the spacing for special one was not too bad. Basically, you can just dash back once and then just stand there and then wait and dash back and heavy. So um, it allows you to get a bunch of the ruptures on. And yeah, I think like right here, boom. And I think we're gonna die here shortly and then you got the concussions the special concussions on every special you can get up to seven of them which is going to reduce your ability accuracy oh yeah i tried to i tried to counter in the corner with the heavy and i just didn't have the right spacing still too far away and a little bit too slow so i felt like that was a decent enough run after um several tries i'm like all right time to revive um this is this is what i have uh Revives and health potions for is for fights like this that are pretty tricky and I don't have um, The best champs like if I took tiger to rank three I could probably consider soloing this but the awaken ability does help a ton um, And I just can't put it I can't put an awakening gem in her right now And then there I parried one hit into a heavy thinking that that would connect Nope so there was a revive thrown down down the drain, no big deal. But um, we're gonna put in a couple more revives. I think this run is fairly decent. Um, I think we get them down to like 20% or so. Um, so that first first run, we got them down 55%. So I think this one's gonna get them another 30%. And you know, it's good enough for me. Um, whether you solo this fight or whether you use a revive or two or 10 or 20 or whatever it might be um you get the same rewards just rem just just remember that so um yeah and then just make sure you keep that encroaching stun and the power alternator in check and hopefully he's being aggressive enough to um just throw specials you know there's been a number of times where he just kind of turtles up 
goes to special three with the feats of power and super annoying with tiger you can get around the rich get richer quite easily with the neutralize um and yeah she does she does a pretty solid job at countering this fight so if you're a tiger player you're probably watching me and be like man you stink and i can do this easy and that's great um but again like i i don't play tigra i have a ranked up rank two um, but I just rarely use her. One of these days I'm gonna, you know, invest in her more, maybe put an awakening gem into her and, and play, her, play her a little bit more frequently, but uh, I'm a noob for sure. I know I know that the orange sense gives you basically damage, the blue sense can basically give you power as far as like rotations to keep them refreshed and active and all that. I'm, I'm, I just don't have the experience, but uh, there we got another 30% died um, you will take retaliation damage because whenever one of your whenever um, your one of your abilities fails you're going to take retaliation damage um, and with the special concussions the only way to get rid of those is to lose a combo of three or more so basically you have to get hit um, there are some champs like squirrel girl and um the new um valkyrie and stuff like that can, that can get around that and manipulate the combo but uh i did try squirrel girl and i think she could do really well but i only have her at rank one and tigra she just completes two of the objectives she completes the uh small here small champion objective and then the mystic objective for um for a uh, Paragon player, so so I figured kill bird, kill a bird with two uh, two ber two birds with one stone, and um, yeah, I was hoping that this one would be enough that I'd get enough to, to finish this off. But I think I, I die with like I don't know, four four percent left or something like that. I fail. I can't remember exactly what happens, but um, maybe the encroaching stun gets me. Because here I think we get off a decent special. Uh, see, and the unblockable is getting prevented by the special concussion as well. Um, but yeah, if you can get that spacing down. See, right there I was trying, I was thinking about going for the heavy, but the last, the last one I was a little bit too far out of reach. And I just didn't trust that that was going to connect. A lot of block damage there. Oh, maybe I push him to special three here. Yeah, I do. And he's at he's at eight percent. So yeah, that's the annoying thing. Sometimes he just you know with the power alternator and the rich get richer, it can really can really jack you up. So there's there's the special three animation. If you haven't seen that <laughs> recently, I've seen it far too often in my tests and whatnot. And then here's the last last revive. Um, so yeah, four revives. I had two decent runs. And then a couple that that weren't so great. So put a few a few health potions in, and this last eight percent goes down actually really quick. Um, so yeah, let me know who you used, how successful you were. Hopefully, um, you can get this guy down without too much trouble. As far as other mystic options, I really don't know. I, I think Claire could probably work. I didn't try her. I have her as a rank five. Um, it's just a lot of the mystics have nullify. And if you nullify, um, you're going to take the retaliation damage. So, Mystic's, Mystic, defeating this guy with a Mystic Champ is kind of a brutal task, but it can be done. I know there can, I know it can be soloed. I have buddies that have sold in my alliance that have like rank four tigers and stuff like that. But with my poor man rank two unawakened. This is this is how I this is how it went down. So it does complete two objectives in one, which is nice. And so we used a few revives this week, but nothing that I'm ashamed of. And I have a bunch of revives that are in overflow, so it just means a little bit less on the selling of the 200 gold for the revive. So we're gonna collect these two objectives. Hopefully this helped. Hope you enjoyed. Me get my butt whooped. And thanks for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.